Miles, the Bears got one of the fastest receiving cores in the league this year when you talk about guys like Darnell and Marquise. Um, how you adjusted to the speed of the game so far? Uh, adjusting to the speed of the game is a little difficult. Um, definitely we're going against receivers that are way faster, but it's just kind of just going back to the basics, knowing who you're going against. So I know against uh, going against Marquise, Mooney, uh, Bird, that they are faster, but I'm also fast too. I just got to put myself in position to be able to react and be at the point of the route that I want to be at. So it's a little difficult, but, you know, it's nothing going to just make it easier and better for me when I play against somebody else not as fast. Do you have an eagerness for – preseason games in the next few weeks just to be able to play real football and maybe it'll show us some ball skills and some of the things that you can do in that setting? Um, I'm more eager to just hop out on the field and just uh, play a game in the NFL. Uh, it's been a dream of mine since I was a child, so it's just kind of coming here and conquering it and then being able to, to live it out as best as I can. So I'm eager to be able to do that, but I'm more eager to be able to be a Chicago Bear and say I'm in the NFL just as much. Some of the, the finer points of the game, technique stuff that Deshae has been, has been working with you on since you got here? Um, press. Uh, He's been doing that since OTAs, even though we couldn't press in OTAs. He's just been making sure that we can do it because if we can play press and run every coverage out of our press coverage, then now it's harder for the quarterback to make the read off of the corner. So you have to go somebody else to get that pre-snap read. Uh, very comfortable in that. Uh, my last two years of college, I'd probably say I played about 70% of press snaps. So press is, is kind of what I'm used to now. Uh, senior bowl, I'll say the last time I, I made a tackle, but in the actual game, uh, it would have been, uh, what what was that, January 1st, 2020 in the Rose Bowl. Not that you're bringing people to the ground on Tuesday where you guys put pads on, but are you curious to just see what it feels like to be in pads regularly again? Uh, yes. Uh, Personally, uh, I'm a corner, so I don't really make as many tackles. I just got to make sure when it comes to me, I'm ready to make that tackle. So I'm only going to get about six, seven opportunities a game. I got to make sure I capitalize on every single one of them. What do you sense in terms of the confidence level and the, and the belief that that side of the ball has right now? Uh, I always try to uh, make sure that the group that I'm in uh, – Walks around with that swagger, walks around with that smile. So I'm glad that I, I got drafted to a team with, with that swagger already. Uh, you got Bojack that you are, everybody already knows is the loudest dude on the field. And then you got Gip that kind of got like that, that vet swag. And then you got Jalen, me and Jalen kind of been going at it for forever. So it's like finally somebody with that same mindset as you was on the same team as you. But everybody else got their own, their own little swag. You got Jay Luke. That's just like the energizer bunny of the group. He gets everything going. So it's just like good to have all this around. Uh, Nacky talk about having a next play mentality, specifically when he was talking about Justin Fields. For you, when it comes to errors, whether small or large, what have you done to either develop that next play mentality or to gain that next play mentality? I'm always just, my dad always preached to me from when I was like a freshman in high school, uh, never let the last play affect the next play. So just me being a DB, uh, I always got to do that because if I give up a bomb, but I stop him at the five, we got four more plays now to make sure that they don't score. And then now that just turns seven into three. But if I'm over there letting it get to me, next thing you know, that seven then turned into another seven on an easy slant because I'm over there thinking about the last play I just gave up. So it's just always focus on, you feel me, the next, not the next play, but just focus on the, the moment right then and there. So as long as I focus on the moment, then that last play doesn't really affect me as much as it would. Uh, no, nah, I wasn't surprised. He said the first, usually every day the first person to get the turnover, he's usually the first one to go out there. He's coming and he said he's going to match our energy. So having a coach that's energetic just with us and we make a play is even better because it makes you want to keep making plays for him. You and Duke are competing, obviously, for the same spot. But you guys have similar passing to the NFL later round picks. What's your relationship been like? Is it, has, has he helped you along at all? Has it been strictly competitive? What's your relationship like with Duke? Uh, me and Duke just been helping each other out. He sees something I do wrong, we go to him. He goes to me. Um, also, we got Bojack. That's right now. He uh, he hasn't practicing, but he's been out there making sure that like when we whenever we see something, he sees something like to show different disguises and, and giving us little tips. So I think as a whole defensive back room, it's not really competition. It's just out there. We all we all gotta eat. Um, we want to show that we the best group on the field every play and day out. Uh, it's always gonna be friendly competition, but at the end of the day, y'all want to see all my brothers eat.
uh, I really didn't kind of know what to expect immediately uh, of what Justin Fields is, but he's a cool dude. That's probably one of the main people uh, that I hang out with in this rookie class. We be playing games together, uh, go over film, uh, talk about kind of after practice, like, hey, on this play, when you guys got me, what was your read on me? And then kind of, like, if we got them, he'll be like, what was your read on this play? Just trying to help each other get better, because at the end of the day, we want to be the best football players we possibly can. So my goal is to be around people that want to be better every day, not the people that want to be stagnant. Energetic, uh, positive. He, he likes to walk around with a little swagger, uh, stay confident. And you feel me? I love a confident, to be around a confident person because it just brings confidence in, in instilling into you, yourself. Uh, yes. Uh, so it was pretty. Uh, it was pretty, pretty fun. Uh, he asked me. He was just like, "Hey, you wanna go to the Cubs game?" I was just like, "Shoot, why not?" I, never, I haven't been to a baseball game since I was like ten or eleven, uh, seeing the Angels play. And then I just went. We went out there. And then when they kind of announced my name, I was just like, "Dang, he had this all set up all along." I guess I, I was going no matter what. Uh, but it was just good. They called his name. I told him to stand up. He wasn't gonna stand up at first. And then hearing to get the stand ovation, which is kind of amazing just to see. You know, this is my teammate also. Excuse me? Yes, it's, it's good to be uh, interacting with all the different uh, major league teams in here. Uh, I've been growing up fans of just kind of just sports in general, so being able to, for them to recognize me at, at games and stuff like this is just an amazing feeling. Have you had a chance to get out in the city a little bit and explore yet? Uh, we we went downtown. We kind of first got out here, but it's kind of hard. Uh, one, we are about 40 minutes away just in general. And then uh, just two, just we focusing on being able to get on the field and be a better football player is all that can come later.